Okay, let's take a look at my import, well, import, uh, we'll just say Japanese PS3 collection. Now, all these PS3 games uh, did not come out in the West. Uh, so, well, actually, I think a few did, but it was more expensive, the Euro version. It didn't come out in uh, North America physically, so just got the Japanese version because it's either cheaper than the European version or it was not available in Europe anyway, so you had no choice. But... Okay, the first one here we have is uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Unic uh, Unicorn. And this game came with, of course, the Mobile Suit Gundam game. Uh, it came with the game, the Blu-ray, and a book. So, uh, pretty cool here. Got this one, I can't remember. I think it was either Amazon Japan or Amazon US. I can't remember which one, but uh, it's a, if you're a fan of a lot of Mobile Suit Gundam games, you're gonna like this game. So this game is here, and then we have uh, EX Troopers. This game only came out in Japan. Uh, this was a Japanese oh, exclusive game. It was it's a spinoff of uh, Lost Planet games. Well, like a, it's related. Yeah, we'll say. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. I don't know. I know it's related to Lost Planet though. Uh, then we have here Mobile Suit Gundam Side Stories. It has a few Mobile Suit Gundam games that are released back on like PS2, Dreamcast, uh, I can't remember other GameCube, I believe. Next we have Yakuza 1 and 2 HD. This was the good way to play Yakuza 1 and 2 before the Kiwami 1 and 2 came out. But this is only in Japanese though, so you have to follow a guide. And uh, yep, so Yakuza 1 and 2 HD. Next, we have uh, Yakuza Kenzin. Now, if you're wondering why these are yellow, these are like the greatest hits versions in Japanese. Uh, well, it's called the best. So, yeah, this one came out in Japan only. Yakuza Kenzin, along with Yakuza Asian, these are the, still the only two games that haven't been released in uh, the West yet. So, got those. Uh, then we have here. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme Versus. If you like, again, I like Mobile Suit Gundam games, so that's why I have these. A few Mobile Suit Gundam games never released in America. Then we have Gundam Breaker, another Gundam game. There was two other sequels to this. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I, have, I think I. Well, I played the other, the next game in here uh, as well. Friend had it. Gundam Breaker 2, but I don't have it in a physical. But yep, here's Gundam Breaker. And then the Basara or Basara HD collection. So that's Basara 1, 2, and 3. These two came out in this came out in uh, North America in the PS2 and this one as well. So continue here. Uh at a a call but anyway uh we have a joseph's bazaar adventure all-star battle okay this came out in north america but this came i got the japanese version first because i had watched it on kichirukin's channel about this game and being so good and it wasn't sure it's gonna be a north american release so got this japanese version well i know there is an american version that came out later on but it was like limited and it's expensive now so anyway if you wanted to play this on the cheap get the japanese version uh, then this was also cheap. I got the Japanese version instead of the American version at the time it was like seven bucks versus Far Cry 3 uh, North American version, which was over 20. So this one is Ubi the best uh, Basically piece in English and stuff, but this is the Japanese version or well, greatest hits version of Far Cry 3 And you know Far Cry 3 is really a great game. So yep. Uh, and then we have, this is a non-licensed, non-licensed, like, PlayStation 3 unofficial, I guess. It's like, Junkin, rock, paper, rock, paper, scissors, and you play against these Japanese girls. So, I heard about this one through, I forgot, Adam Korolik's channel, I believe. Can't really remember. Or, uh, yeah, what is his channel or some other YouTuber, I can't remember. But, yeah. If you want an unofficial game that looks like a PS3, they tried to mimic the old PS3 uh, Spider-Man logo. Uh, then we have here, 
this is two games in one. It's actually another kind of a Gundam mech suit game. Forgot what it was called. Um, I know it has Infinite Battle, of course I can read that, and there's another one. But these games are really fun, uh, like uh, action games. So, yeah, this is the double of it. Two games in one. Then we have Yakuza 3. Okay, yeah, this is the on America, but this came out with my um, Yakuza 3 system. So that's why I have it. But then I played the American version, and now there's a Yakuza Remastered collection which has one two, uh, three four and five uh, then we have this one I heard about this um, I forgot who, what youtuber that was but anyway this is bobblehead uh, game of major league baseball kind of reminds me of MLB power pros and uh, yeah see look at the back there and has all your favorite teams Ooh, if you're a baseball major league baseball fan then we have uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors. This is a Japanese version. I know it was released in Europe uh, as well, but it was more expensive. So this is a Japanese version. Of course, there's no English, but it is Luffy again, of course. And there's like four, three other sequels, uh, two, three, and four. So, well, four was released on PS4 and Xbox. Um, uh, I can't remember what other, I think PC. Uh, here's one that was only released in Japan. Uh, this is uh, another Centuries Episode R, another mech game. I really like mech games. That's why I have a lot of mech games on. This is funny. Uh, then we have here... Uh, I got this in a lot. This is just basically PlayStation Move demo disc, I guess. It came with PlayStation Move in Japan. But there you go. Uh, and then Hyper... Uh, oh, Neptunia MK2. I forgot the uh, name in English. Uh, yeah. Correct me there because I'm not really into the hyper. It was part of a PS3 a lot again. Uh, next, I have Beat Sketch. This was only released in Japan for some reason. I think this came out in America. I don't remember it physically being released, but basically it's just a, using your PlayStation Move and sketching. Yeah. Uh, then we have the Japanese version of Sports Champions. It was part of that lot again. And I got uh, the American version for free at a uh, pawn shop. They're like, oh, we can't get rid of these. So I have another version, the Japanese version of Sports Champions. Uh, then we have uh, Pirate Warriors 2, sequel to the first game. And again, there was a European version, but uh, yeah, so... Anyway, this game is really fun as well. Uh, soccer game, winning 11, 2012. Then we have uh, Dre uh, six, I forgot. This is really the Dra Dynasty Warriors, I know. Yeah, I think it's Dynasty Warriors six, actually. This, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember this came in Come Out America either. And then we have the Japanese version of Catherine. This was a lot cheaper than getting the PS3 version now and 360. Uh, but yeah, Catherine. They made a remake on the PS4 and the Vita, actually. And then the Japanese version, part of the lot again, Modern Warfare 3. And you notice the rating Zero Z is equivalent to like um, uh, mature. So here we have Strider. This digitally came out in North America, but only physically in Japan. Strider, the remake, of, or remaster. I think it's a remake, I'm sorry, remake Strider. Then we have Common uh, Rider, that tried war. Of course, this is only in Japan. Common Rider game. Uh, someone's really barbecuing. It smells good. <laughs> um, Orochi 2, I gotta close the window. Rochi 2, then we have Winning Post 2010. There's a lot of horse racing games in Japan. I guess that they really like horse racing games. Uh, this game is kind of like Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I forgot the name of the title, but it has like that Super Smash Brothers feel and um, I was reading some import PS3 games which are, they said, on forms it's really good. So, pick this up, it is a fun game. 
physical version of Yakuza 5, but in Japanese, of course, but I can play this now digital. I have it digitally on my PS3 and physically now on the Yakuza Remastered on PS4. So there you go. Next we have uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! De Shishi. This is a, like a samurai uh, in medieval Japan, ancient Japan. It's a pretty fun game. Kind of reminds me of Way of the Samurai 3 and 4. This Way of the Samurai was really fun actually. And I just was trial and error trying to guess where to go next, but I had beaten this game. You can play both as a male and a female heroine. Never came out in America or Europe. This came out in Europe, but it was more expensive than the Japanese version. Battle Fantasia by Arc System Works. It's a 2D uh, fighter. And this also came out on, uh, I believe it came out on the 360, can't remember. Uh, and then part of the PS3 lot, I got Dragon's Dogma. This came out in North America as well. Then we have uh, Baseball. This is 2012 version of Jikyu. Of uh, Power Pros. Then we have Idol Master 2. These games are pretty fun with the. Because uh, you just have to like press, you know, like musical, just pressing the buttons. And then I have another one, Yaku 2011. And then I have uh, Akami HD. And this was physically only released in Japan for the PS3. And then, but there's a PS4 version and Xbox One, I remember. So there you go. That is my import or Japanese PS3 collection. And thank you again for watching. Let me know if you have any Japanese, other Japanese PS3 games that you recommend that I take a look at or collect or buy. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Until next time.